let's go ahead and keep the show rolling and bring up your next comedian. You know him from the Mike Calta Show. Please welcome my good friend, Mr. Rob Gargiulio. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? You guys having fun tonight? Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Let's have some fun! Oh, man. You know, a lot of comics will lie and claim that what they say when they're up here is the truth. Well, at least I'll be honest with you guys. 99% of what I'm going to say is complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> that being said, I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. <laughs> I think it's great that all of you get together like this to celebrate a love for one thing. Columbine. Oh, okay, really? That's the line so early? I thought that's a weird thing to want to celebrate. Then I found out that April 20th is also a day where potheads celebrate being potheads. Yeah! Yeah, so there goes the nine minutes of dead prom queen jokes I made. Oh man, since it is uh, 420, who here smokes the sticky icky? Yeah! What about that Maui Wowie? Yeah? Who here smokes Nana's nipple nectar? Okay, I made that one up, but you guys do know that there is another group of people who get together to discuss their love of drugs too. It's called Narcotics Anonymous. And I would suggest looking into it, since all of you are here to celebrate your love, for a drug that can get you arrested. How many people here are parents? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? It is a Wednesday night. Why aren't you at home with your children? Oh, that's great. Congratulations. I have a son whose existence I'm ignoring to be here tonight too. But I'm working. They're paying me and weed, but it's still considered work. I love my son to death, but he is fucking dumb. <laughs> That's not a joke, it's the truth. He gets it from his retarded mother, who showed me just how stupid she is when she asked if she could take our son to Walmart and get his hair cut. Now, to me, that seemed like a reasonable request. I figured they would go to Walmart and get some school shopping done, and then they would go to a Lady Jane's or a Supercuts, and he would get his hair cut. That's a rational thought, right? Well, I was wrong. And I realized just how wrong I was when I went to pick him up saw what can only be described as the worst haircut ever given in the history of haircuts. And friends, that's when reality sets in. Reality is that my son didn't go to Walmart and get his haircut. My son went to Walmart to get his haircut. <laughs> I did not know that you could get your haircut at Walmart. Has anybody here ever gotten a Walmart haircut? You wouldn't brag about it even if you did because that is some basic bitch shit. <laughs> but my ex letting Barb, the Virginia Slim smoking, methamphetamine addicted Walmart hairstylist cut our son's hair is just one example of the stupidity that I have to deal with on an everyday basis. See, on more than one occasion, I've gone to my son's mother's house to pick him up, and I've walked in on my son playing with what I believe to be our mother's sex handcuffs. I know, that's gross. I came to the conclusion that my son was playing with his mother's cooter cuffs because the handcuffs are fuzzy, they are crusty, and they are cow print. Or maybe they're just black and those are white stains. But either way, it's not cool to let our son play with your fuck toys. If our son came to my house and started running around my living room, waving my giant rubber fist in the air, I would tell him to put that shit down because it's covered in it. I'm only kidding, you guys. I don't have a son. <laughs> Has anyone here ever had a near-death experience where your life flashed before your eyes? Yeah. I had that happen to me. And when my life flashed before my eyes, all that I saw were the shitty things that had happened to me during my lifetime. It all went down two weeks ago when I was viciously assaulted by my girlfriend. She choked me to the point of unconsciousness. Now, it's cool. We were wrestling. So it wasn't domestic abuse, more domestic humiliation. But a 110 pound girl smacked me down like a bitch. But everything that flashed before my eyes was pure shit. Me getting tricked 
and to touching my neighbor's dick for free water ice when I was four, which is not fair, because who can turn down free water ice? My father calling me a faggot because I couldn't ride a bike without training wheels until I was 10. Now to me, that sounds like it has more to do with my balance than my sexual orientation, but whatever, dad. He's right there, by the way. My first girlfriend breaking up with me because I told her I wore good nighties, which are diapers for teenagers. I have a small bladder, guys. It's a medical condition, so technically she committed a hate crime by breaking up with me. That's discrimination. And as I felt my girlfriend crushing my larynx with 110 pounds of fierce feminine force, I was forced to tap out and beg for her to let go with tears streaming down my face, all in front of my six-year-old son. And we all learned a very important lesson that day, you guys, and that is that daddy is a pussy. Speaking of pussies, let's talk about your next president of these United States of America. Donald J. Trump. Yeah, that's the right response, friends. I figured out why people like Donald Trump. Donald Trump, people like Donald Trump because Donald Trump says the stupid shit that people think but never think to say. But there's a reason why people don't say that stupid shit. Because if every person said every stupid thought that they had, then people would look at them like they were retarded. And as retarded as Donald Trump looks, he sounds even more retarded. But the sign that our country is doomed isn't that Donald Trump is running for president. It's that he is the most normal looking one to do it. <laughs> See, I'm too ignorant to pay attention to what politicians actually stand for. So I pick who I want to lead this great nation of ours into the future the same way most women pick who they want to win the Super Bowl. By who looks cutest in their outfits. <laughs> and right now, each option is more heinous than the next. First, we have Ted Cruz. That dude's face is uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> then we have Bernie Sanders, who looks like the uncle you're born to stay away from at family functions. <laughs> Bernie Sanders looks like he should be the one screaming the racist and crazy shit that Donald Trump is saying. <laughs> Finally, we have Hillary Clinton. Yuck! Hillary Clinton is what happens when a woman runs for president in a country not yet ready to handle a lady leader. You find one who looks enough like a dude to pass for one. Everyone said that it would be terrible for Bill if Hillary ran for president because all anyone would talk about would be his cheating. But I think it's had the opposite effect. I think it's made America realize that it's time we stop blaming Bill. Wouldn't you cheat? Look at that thing! They say that you can't put lipstick on a pig, but they do. So I don't blame Bill for playing dick darts with the tonsils of a half-ton intern. But when all is said and done, I do believe that Donald Trump will be your next president because the people who support him are fanatics. We should all live in fear of a Trump dictatorship. Because if fear her Trump doesn't like you, then you better hide better than the Jews did or his people are gonna get you. Donald Trump wants to ban Muslims from entering the United States of America, and people actually support that. Are there any Muslims here tonight? See? <laughs> they wise enough and got the fuck out before it's too late. Now we all know that Donald Trump's supporters are assholes, but in my eyes there's a group of people who are even bigger assholes than them. I would go so far as to say that there are some of those very assholes in this room here tonight, we have no idea that they are in fact an asshole. Let's see a show of hands, and if this applies to you, please keep your hands up. How many of you like to sing along to songs when you're riding in the car? Really, no one? You're all fucking liars, because everybody likes to sing along to songs when they're riding in the car. And how many of you like to sing along to those same songs, even if someone else is riding in the car with you? It's okay to keep your hands up. You guys aren't assholes. Yet. Now let me ask you this, how many of you, regardless if you're alone or not, like to sing along to songs while you're riding in the car, but mumble words to the lyrics that you don't know? And you guys are the assholes I am talking about. What a pack of pretentious pricks you all are. Because you're too lazy to learn the lyrics, I have to have a perfectly good Smash Mouth song ruined by your mush mouth. Why mumble words if you don't know the actual lyrics? What point are you trying to prove? And who the fuck do you think you're gonna fool? 
Because the second you start to mumble words, I already know that you don't know the lyrics to the song that we are singing. So why not do us all a favor? Shut the fuck up and not ruin that song for the rest of us. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I take this shit pretty serious. When I was 12 years old, I spent my entire summer memorizing song lyrics from CD booklets. Well, you guys were out wasting your time doing useless shit, like playing five finger knuckle shuffle with Barb from down the street. I was at home spending time with naked ladies of my own. The bare naked ladies. That's right, I know every single word to every single song from their 1998 album, Stunt. Don't believe me? Then feel free to sing along, but only if you guys know the actual lyrics. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain stops ticking. Watch your next files with no lights on. We're down the maze on. I hope the smoky man from this one, like Harrison Ford, I'm getting frantic. I stick up tantric. My stickers guaranteed to satisfy the curse. How I make man films? Okay, I don't make films, but if I did, then I'm a samurai. Gonna get a set of the clubs. Gonna find the kind of tiny nubs. Just so my eyes are always flying off the back swing. Gotta get a tumor sailor because that cartoon's got the boom man and baby. It's make me think the wrong thing. It's been 18 years since I learned the lyrics to Bear Naked Ladies one week. Thank you! And I still remember every single word. I bet 18 years later, you're not still finger fucking bar behind the bleachers after homecoming. <laughs> However, you can get a hand job from Barb if you made her behind the Pasco County Walmart where she cuts my son's hair. <laughs> that is it for me. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you check out the Mud Show. We thank you. It's a wonderful fucking moment.